All right, you can scoot back a little bit more. <laughs> All right. Hey, guys. Hey, brothers and sisters. Uh, we're coming here today uh, because my daughter, she had a very uh, important and interesting dream that she would like to share with the body of Christ. So without further ado, I am just going to let her share it. So go ahead and tell so, everybody what you saw. From the beginning, um, it was the setting was at a school, and I was in the bathroom looking at myself in the mirror, and I saw myself. And first, I saw me with a really good hairstyle. I've always liked with the ponytail and the rest of my hair flat down. What? With the ponytail and the rest of my hair flat down. Okay. And I had a beautiful, I think, orange dress, yellow dress, red dress, either one of those, but it was a beautiful fluffy dress as a princess dress. And I remember I had a glitter all over me. It was just sparkling. And there was also glitter in my mouth, which was probably glory from God or something. But I knew that that was from God. And the glitter was beautiful. Everything on me was very beautiful. So then... What about the red stuff you said you saw? Yeah. But that red stuff on me represented God's blood out of nowhere when I saw it on me. Um, when I saw it on me, out of nowhere that came up to my mind was God's blood. And it was all over me and God's blood was protecting me. And after I got done looking in the mirror, I started skipping down the halls and I saw posters of people wanted to be like me and when I saw that it was just different type of posters it was like people wanted to be like this person when but then when this person showed up then the people wanted to be like that person so then I wasn't worried about those posters at all so then I went through this glass door and it was like this this turnable thing I, I don't know what it is called but there's like uh, wall glass walls and and you step inside and just turn you around and you can go inside mm -hmm. and it's like a fancy type of thing okay and um when I step through there and it's spun around so I went inside and I don't know where and the setting in that place was like a mall. There was only one light bulb over us, and the us, what I meant was there was me, someone else, and someone else basically worshiping God, and we started worshiping God on that moment as soon as I showed up, and I'm done. <laughs> that's all? That's it? Yeah. Okay, so... Basically, in a nutshell, she saw her glorified body. She saw a heavenly body. She looked in the mirror and she said she saw glitter everywhere on every part of her body, including her mouth. And she had a beautiful ball gown, princess type of dress with her hair in her favorite hairstyle. And she just, she said she looked beautiful and she was also covered in something red. That looked like the blood of, of. She knew it was the blood of the blood of Jesus. Yeah, it looked like paint. It looked like paint. Yeah. Wow. It was just rubbed in. Mmm. That's interesting. So wow, Amen. Thank you for sharing that. That's very encouraging. We know um, that the Bible says in First Corinthians chapter fifteen, verse forty, it says. There are also celestial bodies and bodies terrestrial, but the glory of the celestial is one and the glory of the terrestrial is another. So we know that our heavenly bodies have a certain type of glory of its own. 
So when she looked inside that mirror and she saw herself radiating like that and sparkling and shining like that, mm -hmm. um, it was like that was a part of the glory that is a part of her celestial body. And then he also led me to um, down to verse 51 and 52. Uh, it says, behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump. For the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible and we shall be changed. 53 and 54 says, For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O oh, death, where is thy sting? O oh, grave. Where is thy victory? Amen. And I'm going to start right there. Praise God. So we know that we will not all sleep, but we will be changed. Our bodies will be changed. These fleshly bodies will be changed. And we will have a heavenly, celestial, glorified body. <laughs> Amen. My daughter is being very extra right now, but... We love you all, and we pray that that encouraged you and blessed you. Did you have anything else you wanted to say? Mm -hmm. So, um, when mom, when my mom was sharing that, it reminded me that this skin, this fleshly skin, is not going to stay the same. It's not. Mm. It's not going to stay the same after you die, and after you get re or after you get resurrected mm -hmm. by God, then your skin will fully change. You will have your uh, fleshly skin. You will have your glorified skin. Mm. And there will be glory all around you. And you won't have any blood. You won't have any... It's just going to be really... You haven't experienced it yet. Mm. I haven't experienced it yet. Yeah. My mom hasn't experienced it yet. Yeah. Yeah, so... You're not going to have blood on her inside her skin. We're not going to have hair. We're not going to have... No, we might have hair. <laughs> Maybe. But I haven't experienced it yet, so it's just going to be completely different. Yeah, but it's going to be beautiful. Yes, very beautiful. And glorious. Mm -hmm. And just like my dream, I want it to be the same. <laughs> Amen. So... God bless you all, and I pray that we all be ready and that we all be accounted worthy to escape all of these things that are to come and stand before God, and so that we can experience that glorified body, that heavenly body, so that we can be caught up and raptured up with him and be with him for eternity. In Jesus' name, amen? Amen. God bless you. Goodbye. <laughs>